Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry. Hey everyone, this is Rob from Outdoor Travel Channel and today I'm going to show you my prepping room. Now the lighting might be off a little bit and I just went in with a GoPro to kind of show you how to do day by day prepping for, you know, a few days if you want to, a week or so. My goal is to have at least a week's worth of food and water for Sherry and I, plus in case our grandkids and my daughter comes over, um, if, you know, power's out for a couple of days or for a week or more, they're going to be hurting because they don't prep. Yes, I've been trying to get them to prep, but you know, those young people. <laughs> anyway, so without further ado, I'm going to take you into our spare bedroom. Uh, forgive me if the lighting isn't very good, but it gives you an idea of what we do for day by day prepping and how to do it in a, a long scale way to keep it affordable and practical. So here we go. Hello everyone, this is Rob and today I'm letting you see my little stash in the spare bedroom. Now I have a three bedroom house and it's just me and Sherry. So we have this room that we kind of have a lot of stuff in and uh, it needs to be sorted. And, uh, <laughs> it's just, but it's also our prep room. So one of the things I wanted to show you is what I've been starting to do is um, make sure that I have lots of paper products. Let me tell you, if we go a few weeks or months or a long period of time without extra toilet paper and paper towels and things like that uh, you'll be hurting but um, there's ways around that too like uh, um, the little wet wipes and things like that and some people will use a, a damp cloth and stuff but anyway that's as extreme so one of the things I was just going to show you that doing prepping you don't have to do it all at once do a little bit at a time uh, while you can. Uh, of course, if you see a disaster happening quick, obviously do it faster. But if you uh, have some time, I, I definitely would suggest prepping for at least three weeks to a month, just just in case. Um, I'm in Arizona, so we don't have a lot of uh, uh, hurricanes or anything like that. But boy, I tell you, uh, we could be affected by power outages really easily. Um, monsoons can do a lot of damage here too. But uh, so uh, we don't have the extreme weather like you might get in the Northwest over in Florida and the uh, Gulf of Mexico. But anyway, uh, I don't have, we don't have a volcano nearby either. And earthquakes aren't as rampant as it is on the coast. But if something happens on the coast, it probably could affect us here in Arizona. So one of the newest things I've been doing is at Costco, I picked up um, some of their storage items. And uh, every time I go to the grocery store shopping, I get something a little extra. Uh, I, uh, I do have freeze-dried food. But some of the little things that you can get a really good price on is like Top Ramen, a little bit of Spam, <coughs> uh, Quaker Oats, dried milk, salt, uh, got rice in here um oh so i got some other goodies in here gravies flavoring things um just give you ideas of what you could do and here's my little so you can see inside uh sugar and my sugar is double um protected in a uh, uh plastic sealed uh, uh baggies just to kind of make sure it stays safe and i don't get any critters in here um but yeah, every time I go to the grocery store, I just grab a little more. So I'm working on my first box here. This one's empty. And uh, that's it. That's it for that. But in here is where I buy my water. So we also have extra food in here for our pets. So we've got a whole bag of food in here for, uh, for the cat. Got lots of batteries. Every time I go to the grocery store, I always grab a water jug. So as you can see, um, I'm getting quite a bit of water. Uh, the other thing is for cooking, these little guys are kind of expensive but very convenient. So uh, at Safeway, our grocery store, uh, they're kind of expensive there. They're $7.99, but you can get them for $5.99. Sometimes they go on sale. Anyway, uh, uh, I buy one extra and I just keep adding on to it. I have more down below. 
uh, battery charging system, um, my solar charging system for our cell phones. I keep uh, water purification, uh, alcohol and peroxide is in here. Uh, yeah, everybody should have a bottle of wine, right? Uh, cat foods, lighters, uh, unique things here. This is uh, uh, Quaker Oats. Um, that's that side. <coughs> this side here, I got more. I just got some dried food. Uh, first aid kit, more dried food, more water. Uh, dog food, more water. Uh, what else I got in here? <coughs> um, a solar radio. Um, I don't know what this thing is. Oh, this is a. Uh, I got these on sale at Amazon. They're lanterns that uh, <laughs> they work really good. Uh, LED. Uh, they use low power. And uh, oh yeah. They had soap on sale, at, uh, a lot of soap, and uh, so I, uh, I thought the price was really good, so I bought a case of soap. And believe me, uh, if anything, it would be a bargaining chip for things. So, as you can see, I'm just showing you how you can just kind of keep adding to it. Now, eventually, when we get all this stuff out of this room, um, I'll put some shelves over here and put more water. And what I like about this room is it's a very dark room. Um, we keep it sealed off with a, we have a panel on the outside. It keeps it real dark in here. So all my water is uh, in the dark, kept cool. Uh, everything's kept cool in here. And uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be expensive. Uh, I just suggest you just do a little bit at a time. So I hope that motivates you a little bit to get at least prepared 72 hours worth or a week's worth um, I am shooting for a month worth of um, food and water and that includes your pets and the other thing is you might notice I'm a little um, getting kind of double what it would be for two people because I kind of expect that if we had a disaster or something that my uh, daughter and her family may come here and so <laughs> I want to make sure I have enough extra water and food to support extra people if I have to so and also weapons you've seen a video that we did earlier uh, we do have several weapons and we also stockpile I think I keep some bullets in here but I also keep them in another room so uh, lots of things to protect the family too so in case I have to hunker down uh, it isn't what you own it's what you can hold on to that's the trick so anyway, hope that motivates you a little bit. Good thing to do. Believe me, if something happens, you'd be really glad you did it. So anyway, I'm Rob. Talk to you later. Bye now. Hey guys, thanks for watching Outdoor Travel Channel and prepping day by day. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. <laughs> Bye now.